you can have a, you can never have enough information about property because it's that information that will help you make wise decisions. Tonight we talk about the property show that will be happening in Santon on the 27th to 28th of August 2022. I am joined by Kasamba Mukumba, who is, who is in the marketing and comms team at Private Property. So tonight we're going to be talking everything that you can expect at the Tickets are already on sale, so make sure that you get yourself a ticket to be able to come join um, and, and come enjoy that show. Kasamba, good evening and thanks for joining us. Good evening, everyone. Thanks so much for having me. It's been, you know, on the marketing side, we said we know that these things happen, but yay, marketing is finally on the show. I'm so excited to be here. Thank you so much for joining us and, you know, for gracing us with, with so many people. What exactly is the property show? I mean, we have different shows um, that we have at different points in time. So, what it has in store for them. So let's jump straight into it. What is the property show and what is the objective? So the property show really is an opportunity for everyone who has got questions about property to come through and find out everything about the journey in one place. So what we seek to do as private property with the show is to put all the players in the property game in one space and really start to be able to have conversations with people, but not just in a general way, but really in terms of saying, okay, Kasamba, what is your property journey today? Where are you? What do you need to know? And who do you need to speak to? And so it's that ability to get a lot of information, be really educated, making sure that you're feeling comfortable to take the next step on your property journey. Sure. And, you know, with the trends that we're currently having, are there any particular consumer needs that you have identified and which the, the show will directly address? Well, I think for us, really, they're kind of two key focus areas. And one of them are people who are buying the home for, their first, for the first time. So understanding that this is one of the biggest uh, investments that you'll ever make, it really is, it's not, you can't buy a house for five rand, so it's a significant kind of uh, decision that you have to make. So we really want to make sure that as private property, we give people as much information, as many tools as they can uh, uh, handle, as much kind of inspiration to make sure that they take that first step on that property journey. The other side of what we really want to do also from a consumer point of view is to make you understand that if you are wanting to be a property investor, it's not something for the chosen few. We can all start to make steps and grow our um, property portfolio and really start to see the benefit of understanding how to use the property market to your advantage. Sure. Thank you so much for that. And, you know, I like the fact that you touched on property investing because that's where my next question is going to stay. You know, with the prop property value chain, there are different players. You know, we've got we've got consumers, we've got providers, we've got people consumers who want to be investors, people who are already landlords, people who are even thinking of going into the property market as first uh, first time home buyers. So um, what can they expect in these different categories and um, with the with the full value chain in terms of the show? Well, I think really, you know, something that surprises a lot of people, I mean, it surprised me when I first started uh, with private properties, just how many steps they are in the chain. So from an expectation point of view, you know, obviously we're going to see estate agents, we're going to see houses that are for sale, uh, we're going to really understand what that sales process is, but we're also going to be able to talk to banks and we're going to be able to understand what our finance needs are in our mm -hmm. particular position. There's credit bureau to understand where you are, so we have got the ability to check our credit score and to understand what that means. There are mortgage originators, there are um, conveyances, there's lawyers, there's also people who talk to once you have the home, how do you make it more valuable? People who talk about sustainability, solar, water conservation. So there's a real kind of journey through the property show that allows you, no matter where you are in the stage and how much you understand about the property industry, there's always something new and interesting to learn. Sure. No, thank you so much for that. What else are we looking forward to? I know that property is not just about the serious stuff. There's probably going to be some good uh, um, entertainment even or whatever is going to be on, on, on the program that day. What else should people look out for as they come for the show? 
I think that's, you know, thank you for saying that because property is such a serious transaction, but yeah. a private property, we are human beings and human beings are not serious all the time. So we do have elements of gamification. We've got a very cool meta studio that's happening. So if you can't join us physically in Johannesburg on the 27th and the 28th, please join us virtually. There's competitions, there's super cool prizes to be won. We've got a great area um, in the center of the exhibition, which is really just for kids, for hanging out, for families. So what we're trying to do in terms of the show is we're really trying to mimic what it is life, what is life like on the street, in a community. So come down, have that community feeling, pop around to the private property stand. There may be some challenges. <laughs> you can really just like interact with us we just want you to feel at home. Sure. Um, another thing that I wanted to ask, we talk to a lot of providers and a lot of estate agents and a lot. Uh, we have a lot of them on the show, people who are really experts. Is there an opportunity for them to also maybe possibly have stands or have exhibitions or, or do anything of the such? So I think really that's the, the key for the property show is that connecting that expert to the person who is looking for the information. It uh, it can come across in various ways. So obviously there's a lot of people exhibiting. We've got from, like I said, all from finance institutions to estate agents to lawyers. So any question that you have from the experts and the providers are there. But we also have got a very full program over the two days about expert talk. So the kinds of topics that you guys are used to hearing here on the podcast, we'll be able to talk about them in a little bit more detail at the property show. There's chances also for you to be live in the audience and ask your own questions. So definitely interacting with experts, having a little bit of fun, leaving feeling empowered and educated is the whole aim of the show. I'm already so excited and I'll definitely be there. So talk to us about tickets and where people can get their tickets so that they make sure that they don't miss this weekend. And um, if people will be buying a ticket for the whole weekend or should they buy one for each day and how, how's that going to work? Okay, so the tickets are 180 Rand. It is a one day pass. They're 100 Rand virtually. So it's 180 Rand for the walk into the Phantom Convention Center. So you can get your tickets at www.thepropertyshow.co.za. Uh, the ticketing is hosted by Quicket. And uh, really just in terms of, what was the other part of your question? Buy the ticket, come to the show, win yes. the prize <laughs> um, is kind of the key thing. We'll also be running various competitions. So guys, please stay tuned to the podcast. Stay tuned to anywhere that you, you interact with private property. We're going to be having some really great competitions uh, where you can win tickets to join. You can also win uh, various very cool prizes sign up for our newsletter, it's all happening. Thank you so much, Kasamba. It was an absolute pleasure having you here and definitely looking forward to talking a little bit more. We, if we receive any questions, we will definitely bring you back so that you can answer some of those questions and really give that information that is really crucial about the show. Thank you so much for joining us and have a good night. Thanks a lot, everyone. And thanks for having me on the show. Bye. Cheers. As we always say, a little bit of the right information might just be what you need to get you back on that property A-game. Thank you so much for joining us tonight as we talk the property show. And remember to get your tickets at www.privateproperty.com. Until the next time we see you, have a good night.